Michael, you've mentioned that people's initial inclination is to share their script idea with family and friends, and you say they do it too soon and they could be sabotaging themselves. Why is yeah. that? Uh, my belief is you've got to be careful about showing your, not so much your script, but sharing your story idea too soon with anybody. I, I sort of liken it to giving birth. I think there's a fetal stage of a creation of any kind, including a story. And the danger is you come up with an idea and the next day you're saying, oh, I had this great idea for a movie. And you haven't worked on it. You haven't been with it. You haven't explored its potential and then whoever you say that to might say I don't get that and then you know you, you jettison it you get rid of it because you don't think it's good and I think it's too easy to crush those kinds of ideas if you expose them too soon. The family member issue is slightly different. I think if you have supportive family members you should always let them read your work so you can hear some really nice things about your writing. Just don't take it to heart. <laughs> I mean feel good about it but don't regard that as a basis for concluding it's ready to submit. If you have family members or friends like we talked about earlier which aren't really supportive then yeah don't, don't show it to them. Tell them they can come to the premiere and before that it's just, it's just yours. But be careful about who you show it to. And just one thing I said, I'd be succinct with this, but I have to add one more thing about having it read. Be absolutely sure you, ha you get feedback on your script before you send it out to anybody who makes a difference professionally. Don't ever trust your own judgment about whether your script is ready to show. Because I guarantee it's not, even though you think it is, because you're so desperate and so badly want it to be great and so champing at the bit to get reaction, you may send it out too soon to somebody who is then not going to want to read the rewrite because they've already read the mediocre first or second draft. So you've got to go to consultants like me or writers group members or classmates in writing classes or at least friends who will be honest and know something about fi film and storytelling and get their reactions before you conclude that it's ready to go. And only when you consistently get the reaction that I think this is good to go should you go out with it. What do you say to those screenwriters that have their peers or their family read it but they're really just paying lip service to being supportive? How do you know that that's, you know, you say that there's a fine line. Show it, show it to those who, whom you believe are supportive but don't show it to the ones that are going to be negative. Well, how does someone know that they're really in one camp versus another. Oh, you can tell. I think, I think almost everybody's going to know fairly quickly who's supporting you in your dream and who's deep down either resentful of it or trying to steer you away from it or laughing at it. And if you don't, this will be the place you learn because, if you, it, because it'll depend how they react. If they just say this is laughable and say these things that sort of crush your spirit, I wouldn't show it to that person anymore. But I was saying, if you, if you want to show it to your mom because your mom thinks everything you do is wonderful, fine. Let her say this is wonderful because that feels great and you need that. Just don't use that. Don't then take it to a top director and say, my mom loves it. I think it's ready for you to look at it. Does that make sense? You see the description It does, there? Yeah. yeah. What about someone that's a serial idealist, and it's probably the wrong terminology, but they come up with these great ideas and then they never do anything. An ideist. <laughs> serial means. idealist, which is the, it's the wrong yeah. terminology. I'll, uh, uh, let's call it something else. Somebody who's just... Great at coming up with ideas but they aren't or don't want to be a screenwriter. Well, they never finish them. They abandon them. So they come up with, I have this idea for this guy and he's going to do this and that. Great, and he starts working on it or she works on it and then they tire of it, move on to the next one. And they, their whole supposed career is a succession of these abandoned... Well, there is, there is no career. I mean, they, have, they don't finish them? Well, yeah. they might finish so the, something. But. Okay, so... But, well, that's, that's the definition of block. That's writer's block, or it's a form of writer's block. It just means I never want to finish it because my, my suspicion would be that deep down there's a, there's a real fear that either it's not going to be good enough or I don't want it to be judged, or there's a really unconscious fear that if it is good enough, I might actually be able to get something going and I would be a success or I would have to be a Hollywood writer or I would have to move to LA or whatever. And that 
It doesn't seem like it. It sounds like a dream, but deep down it's terrifying because we are very, very afraid of change generally. So if you're in that situation as a writer and you find yourself finishing and then going to the next and going to the next and going to the next, I really think somehow possibly with help, with some guidance or counseling or therapy or whatever, you need to take a look at what's really going on here. Why are you, what, what are you feeling like right before you decide to move on to the next one? And try your best to confront that feel, that, those feelings, because they're going to get you to a fear. And I think if you can figure out for yourself or with help what is the real fear here, then you have a chance of moving past that or, or getting through it. It's like I say about heroes of movies. I say, Heroes of movies stop asking themselves, how do I not be afraid, and start asking, am I willing to be afraid? Because it's a scary prospect. What we've been talking about here sort of cavalierly for the last while, these are scary things. And I think we both really appreciate how frightening it is and how hard it is to write and act and direct. And you need support and you need help for that, but you've got to sort of surrender to it too and say, of course I'm afraid. But I love doing it, and I'm willing to be afraid and go forward. And if you can't solve that problem yourself, then I think get some help with that. No, I think, I think that's good.